Relapse is Eminem's best album he's ever made, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why in this video. Now, you could argue Marshall Mathers LP or The Eminem Show has had a bigger impact on his career, which I could agree with, impact-wise. The Eminem Show, you know, put him in the mainstream. Marshall Mathers LP was responding to what the media thought about him at the time. But if we're talking pure theme to an album, pure lyrics, all that, I'm gonna say Relapse is his best album. So I have 10 reasons why I think this. I'm gonna list them all in this video. You can let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments. We could have a good discussion. But yeah, let's get started with the first reason. Firstly, the concept itself. So he had just taken five years off because of the whole drug issue he had. And after Encore and the Eminem show, people were talking about how the old Slim Shady kind of isn't there anymore. He's kind of evolving and they want to see the old Slim Shady back. So he comes back with a concept album where he is just all Slim Shady. He talks about dark and twisted thoughts. He has whole stories throughout it. And I think this might be some of the best Slim Shady you'll ever see in an Eminem album. And beyond the whole concept of the album, you also have some of the best lyricism he's ever done. If you go listen to Stay Wide Awake, which we talk about on this channel all the time, the third verse, I think it is, or the second verse, amazing i'll put up a picture of the rhyme scheme right now it highlights each syllable and how it rhymes with the next sentence and the line it's all color coded and the whole thing is basically shaded it's insane every sentence rhymes with the next one which is something you don't really see that rhyme scheme is just amazing the wordplay as well and the storytelling like i talked about with the concept it really keeps your attention and if you like the storytelling tracks like brain damage off the slim shady lp or stan or something you're gonna like the relapse album the whole thing is a story third reason is the production itself it's made by dr dre it has some of the best beats stay wide awake i think it's must be the ganja a couple other songs the 808 and the kicks are heartbeats so if you listen to it the tempo is like a heart beating in the background if you have a good sound system or good headphones it really like immerses you in it and it feels really cool if you haven't ever noticed that go listen back to relapse and listen to how many songs have a heartbeat in the background little production things like that throughout the whole album along with the skits really make it his best album to me another thing is the cinematic quality to it so i kind of talked about the concept but you have skits that feel like mini movies and he has like very vivid imagery that explain exactly what's happening you have skits like Tanya going right into same song and dance where it's a perfect transition where he goes from like a potential kidnapping to a whole song about kidnapping someone so yeah it's very detailed and the whole thing feels like a story that kind of goes to the next reason which is the controversial side of it a lot of people like Eminem because he's controversial like the Slim Shady LP or the Marshall Mathers LP how that kind of stirred up a lot of controversy and he enjoyed it like he didn't shy away from it this album really goes back to that I know Encore kind of dialed it back a little bit and then Eminem had his time off people thought he would you know grow out of that but throughout relapse you see a lot of controversial things you see a lot of topics talked about that a lot of people wouldn't talk about and it really feels like he's raw and open saying what he wants to say like he did back then then we got the technical skill i know we kind of talked about the lyricism already and the rhyme schemes but this is really talking about the delivery and the flow a lot of these songs really feel like he's mastered rap like he can say it however he wants and the cadences and like these verses that are coming out of nowhere rhyming perfectly delivered perfectly they really immerse you in this album and that's why i like it so much then you got the character development throughout the whole relapse album you really see him go from slim shady where he's doing this whole murder scene thing eminem on songs like crack a bottle but then he really opens up and you can see into his real life on songs like deja vu and beautiful where he's completely open it really feels like that original trio where he was very open but he also has that you know edgy side of him you see that throughout relapse it has every single side of eminem that we've ever seen before and i believe this is the last album that we really get to see all three sides of eminem so it's kind of weird that it gets the hate that it does when people like the original trio so much this next point is kind of counterintuitive but i think once i explain it you'll get it the features so there's not very many features the first like half of the album nobody's on it but then the second half you get like dr dre 50 cent and that's it so it's like a solo record it's just eminem and then he has a couple tracks with dr dre and 50 cent which those are two people you can't go wrong with some of his best work is with those two so it's pretty awesome that he picked people that he knew would be hits and yeah when you go back to something like the slim shady lp not a lot of features on it i mean you have like royce to five nine on bad meets evil but besides that it's kind of like relapse it's mostly just eminem on all these songs it also feels very cohesive like every track flows perfectly into the next it feels like one big song kind of it doesn't just feel like a bunch of songs thrown together like a mixtape i think a lot of modern albums kind of do that they just make a bunch of songs and throw them on but yeah the whole thing like transitions perfectly you know this song to this song sounds good transitions to this one perfectly and then there's a skit leading up to this track so i think a lot of that is very well planned out and i love how cohesive the whole thing is and then lastly the impact that it's made when it first came out i know he kind of talked about how much he didn't like it he didn't like the accents on it a lot of people didn't like this whole side of eminem because they weren't used to you know his whole voice but over time it has aged very well a lot of fans say it's their favorite definitely not his most influential or made him blow up it was a very nice addition to his catalog all the songs are amazing they fit the eminem theme and besides the song insane I don't know if there's anything that's like a guaranteed skip. Like a lot of people will play this whole album without skipping anything. 
which is pretty amazing. So yeah, these are my reasons why Relapse is potentially Eminem's best album. If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. If you want to see more Eminem videos, I got a playlist right up here. You can click that, watch more. Thank you for watching. Anything else you want to see next, let me know down below. I'll try to make it happen. Thanks for watching. Peace out.